assalamu alaikum students so today we are doing our class 5 in organic chemistry and today we are going to learn about the reactions okay so in today's class we are going to learn about the reactions and if you are not uh, clear about the previous topics so please i advise you to watch the videos before watching this video go to video one two three four of organic chemistry that is for igcsc and o levels so in this video i am covering the syllabus of IGCSC and O levels. So this is our five, fifth class and in this class we are going to learn about the reactions. And first of all we are going to learn about the reactions of alkanes. It is about the reactions of alkanes. The first reaction which we are going to learn is the combustion of alkanes and you have to remember that all alkanes are hydrocarbons and all hydrocarbons easily combust in presence of excess supply of oxygen so in excess supply of oxygen hydrocarbons like alkanes I am going to take the first, the simplest formula of alkane which is methane. When it combusts in presence of excess supply of air means oxygen, it produces carbon dioxide and steam or water. To balance this out, we have to multiply the water with two and to balance the oxygen we have to place two with oxygen as well so this is the first reaction of alkanes in which you can understand whenever any alkane is burned in excess supply of oxygen or air the carbon dioxide and water are formed if the air is not in excess or the limited supply of air is supplied then instead of the carbon dioxide we will get carbon monoxide but this is only in case of limited supply in case of limited supply of oxygen or air and you know that in air the active component is oxygen the reactive or active component of air is oxygen so whenever the air or the supply of oxygen is limited we get instead of the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and you also have to remember the hazards or the consequences of carbon monoxide that carbon monoxide is a toxic gas the next reaction that is very very important it is the cracking of alkanes cracking of alkanes and you have to remember what is it mean by the cracking cracking mean the breakdown of a long chain hydrocarbon cracking is the break down of long chain hydrocarbons long chain hydro carbons which are considered to be less useful so actually it is the breakdown of long chain hydrocarbons which are less useful into small chain 
hydrocarbons which are considered to be more useful so you have to remember the hydrocarbons which are or which have a long chain or more number of carbon atom are less useful whereas the hydrocarbons having less number of carbon atoms per molecule are considered as more useful so it is or cracking is the breakdown of a long chain hydrocarbons into small chain hydrocarbons at a higher temperature of at a higher temperature of 600 degrees celsius or sometime above sometime we may use above 600 degrees celsius and it purely depends the length of the carbon chain it is purely depending upon the length of a carbon chain at or at higher temperature in presence of in presence of a catalyst which is maybe sometime it is aluminium oxide sometime the catalyst used is aluminium oxide and sometime we may use silica or silicon dioxide silicon four oxide so in short we can say that cracking is the process in which long chain hydrocarbons are broken down into small chain hydrocarbons at a higher temperature of 600 degrees celsius and in presence of aluminium oxide or silicon four oxide which act as catalyst so that is why due to the presence of the temperature due to the presence of the catalyst this cracking may be termed as catalytic cracking or thermal cracking so whenever you found the word thermal cracking it means the cracking on heat only thermal cracking and the word catalytic cracking cracking catalytic cracking means the cracking is taking place at lower temperature than the thermal with the presence of a catalyst so these two words may not confuse you these are the same as in this simple cracking we are actually using the higher temperature and the catalyst as well so this is the example of both a catalytic and thermal crackings so what is the situation in which we have to consider what happens during the cracking so we have to consider an alkane which is cracked in presence of aluminium oxide which is al2o3 or sometime it is silicon 4 oxide or silicon dioxide in presence of 600 degree celsius temperature or sometime it may be higher than the 600 degree celsius as a result we must can have alkene as a result of the cracking we must have alkene and along with we may have alkane alkene must produced but we have a choice with alkane or sometime we have the combination of alkene with hydrogen and in rare cases we may get three that is by the cracking of alkane we may get alkene plus alkane along with hydrogen so these three combination can be considered if examiner ask you or give you a molecule of alkane and advise you or 
direct you to crack it then you may crack it into any of the alkene and alkane or any of the alkene and hydrogen or any of the alkene alkane and hydrogen but it purely depends what type of the example is given in the exam like i'm going to discuss it as example like i'm going decane having 10 carbon atoms and 22 hydrogen atoms in the presence of these conditions like al2o3 or sio2 in presence of 600 degree celsius temperature this alkane can be cracked into c5h10 you can see as the number of carbon atom and the number of hydrogen atom are in ratio 1 ratio 2 or we can say the hydrogen atoms are exactly the double of the carbon atoms so it confirms that this is alkene and we can get c5 h12 so this is alkene now the condition is that if you are going to break the alkene into two uh, molecules one is alkene and one is alkane the sum of the carbon atoms and the hydrogen atom must remain the same as the starting material or the starting molecule like you can see in this example we have 5 plus 5 we have total 10 carbon atoms like in the main molecule or the cracking we are going to crack this molecule so the number of carbon atom in this molecule are 10 as the number of carbon atom in both of the molecules which we get as a result of cracking are 10 as well and the sum of hydrogen atom in these two molecules is 22 which is similar to the given molecule which is cracked or we may crack this combination into five molecules of alkene which is pentene <clears throat> by doing this we have all of the carbon atom completed and 20 hydrogen atoms and two hydrogen atoms are less so that will be appear in the form of hydrogen so the second combination comes to true if we are going to crack into three molecules we can or we can get the different combination as well if we are going to crack it in such a way like we get c4h8 so this is alkene and then we get c6 and h14 so the simplest case is that or what you are going to aim is to crack the given alkene into alkene and alkane or into alkene or hydrogen any molecule you can make but keep that in mind one of the molecule must be alkene and the other one may be alkane or hydrogen but the total number of carbon atoms and the hydrogen atom must remains the same as in the given parent molecule so this is the reaction of cracking and we have to discuss the cracking in the form of in a practical way how we crack the given molecule like i'm going